across this vast ocean. Men fall as pawns, or gain infamy as pirates. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag takes the franchise into an entirely new realm. As the game director of multiplayer, I feel like you're a good guy to talk to about this world. What is the world of Black Flag? What kind of areas are we going to move through? Yeah, so everything is about pirates this year, and it's a perfect setting for the multiplayer because it's let us create very exotic and different locations. So we have a natural part, jungle, that looks amazing on next gen, and you have a more urban part with little houses houses and things like that where it's really cool to do some free running in the multiplayer. Now you can navigate on the trees and things like that. It's one of the things we haven't done last year because we didn't have any environment based on trees and forests. And now that we have jungles and stuff like that, it's one of the things we introduced on the multiplayer this year. We're not really going to head into the water in multiplayer. We're going to stay on land. So what are the things that we're looking to do on land other than pillage and all that stuff? The multiplayer, everything is based around hunting down your target and killing it. And you have someone on your back who is trying to do the same thing. So you need to try to survive. You need to be stealth. You have a huge crowd on all game modes on the map. So this card is a very good tool to hide, to not be killed, and to try to surprise your opponent and kill them. The way you approach, the way you are assassinating your opponents, that's really what is the multiplayer. What are some of the characters we're going to be encountering, playing as, and then how many friends can I bring in to join me? So you can play up to four players on all modes. So you can play with seven of your friends on private, with three of your friends on public matches. And then the characters you're playing with, thanks to the pirate setting, we have a very varied cast. I think it's the most varied and colorful cast we have ever done. So we have pirates, of course. People coming from Europe that came in the Caribbean seas because that's where they had to be at this time period, right? Girls, of course, because that's one of the things that our community loves, to play female characters too. So yeah, very, very excited about the character cast. In terms of this being a next-gen game, what do you think fans of this franchise are going to experience that they haven't before? Graphically, it looks amazing. We have doubled the resolution on the texture on the map. The characters are four times higher poly and texture-wise. So really, you see all the details, and our artists were very happy to push the boundaries uh, graphically thanks to the new engine. So we've integrated a new engine on the multiplayer. So now it looks gorgeous. And then, of course, thanks to the next-gen, we have also some next-gen cool features. One that we really like on the multiplayer is the fact that you can stream very easily what you're playing. So it's really cool for competition, for tournaments, because today players are doing that on AC3, but they have to buy extra hardware. It's a bit of a pain to do it. Now it's very easy on both consoles. They can do it right away, and it's very cool.